Assalamu alaikum. This is Majharul Islam, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal Version School. Today, I will discuss about Islam and Moral Education of Class 3. Welcome to Virtual Class again. What's up, my dear students? How are you? I hope everything is okay. So, today I will discuss about Chapter 3. Akhlaq. So, everybody take your textbook and read the chapter 3, Akhlaq, character. So, everybody open the textbook and read the page number 28 to 37. Here is discussed about obedience to parents good behavior with classmates good behavior with guests exchanging salam serving human beings mercy to all living beings and speaking the truth so now everybody follow the sheet here I will discuss about short question answer so let's start question number A everybody listen be carefully and say with me what is the benefit if our parents remain pleased answer if our parents remain pleased with us Allah will be pleased and satisfied with us if Allah is pleased with us we will attain Jannah question number B what should we do if any classmate is ill answer if any classmate becomes ill we should go to see him and take care of him if necessary we will call in a doctor or take him to hospital we will give him courage and wish him earliest recovery next question question number C write the sentence of exchanging salam in Arabic the sentence is everybody say with me assalamu alaikum meaning peace be upon you number D what is said to reply to Salam answer to reply Salam is wa alaykum salam we will say to reply Salam wa alaykum salam meaning peace be upon you too number E what is the benefit if we behave nicely with guests answer we should behave nicely with our guests if we do this our relationship with them will be stronger and Allah will be pleased with us what does Allah do if we show mercy to the living beings answer Allah becomes pleased if we show mercy to living beings our Prophet ﷺ has said show mercy to all that you see in this world you will be blessed with the mercy of Allah here mercy means love sympathy and blessed means happy what is the harm of telling lies to tell a lie is a great sin a man who tells a lie is known as a liar Allah does not love him everybody hates him he will attain Jahannam we cannot attain Jannah next 
now I will discuss here broad question answer everybody follow this question number eight how will we behave with our parents answer we will always behave nicely with our parents we will honor them we will give them salam we will abide by their commands we will serve them we will talk to them politely nicely we will answer them saying yes when they will call us number B what are the benefits of good behavior with the classmates answer classmates means associate of studying associate means companion partner we should behave nicely with the classmates if we behave nicely and help each other in the classroom our teachers and par parents will be pleased with us we will stand beside them when they are in danger Allah will be pleased if all of us live in harmony here harmony means parallel similarity harmony means parallel similarity next question number C write the rules of giving and taking salam answer dear students everybody listen be carefully salam means peace salam is to pray for peace we will give salam first saying assalamu alaikum when we meet any Muslims we have to reply saying wa alaikum salam if we can hear it we should give salam to all persons number D what has the Prophet وسلم, said about good behavior with parents answer Allah has given most priority about good behavior with parents because they sacrifice everything for the welfare of the children welfare means benefit our Prophet وسلم, has said the satisfaction of Allah is in the satisfaction of parents and the dissatisfaction of Allah is in the dissatisfaction of parents satisfaction means pleasure next question question number E how shall we show mercy to the living beings answer there are many animals birds and other living creatures around us all living creatures need care as we do we should take care of them we should love them we will not beat and hurt them we should not throw stones or bricks at them in this way we will show mercy to the living beings next question question number F write a story of speaking the truth everybody listen be carefully answer truthfulness helps us to live bad deeds there is a nice story about speaking the truth one day a man came to Prophet he said listen O Rasul of Allah I steal things from others I tell lies I commit many other sins now I do not want to do 
all these bad things but which one of these will I stop first? Prophet said, reply, stop telling lies first. The man stopped telling lies. He started always speaking the truth. After this, he stopped all the sinful deeds gradually. He was saved from unjust actions. He was also free from sins. Dear students, that's all for today. See you again another day with new class. Thank you.